on the morning of December 7th, 1941, the Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service launched a devastating surprise aerial attack on Pearl Harbor, a U.S. naval base on Oahu Island, Hawaii, causing heavy damages and casualties. The day after the strike, the United States declared war on Japan, marking its official entrance into World War II as a combatant. The strike also opened the beginning of hostilities between the United States and Japan. How did Japan enter the war? After annexing Korea in 1910, Japan continued its expansionism to achieve economic security and solve its demographic problems. As early as 1931, the Empire of Japan invaded Manchuria, a small, resource-rich province in northern China. In the following year, a puppet state called Manchukuo was established by the Japanese, cementing their hold on the region. In 1937, Japan declared war on China, resulting in the bloody Nanking Massacre, in which hundreds of thousands of people in the Chinese city of Nanking, including both soldiers and civilians, were brutally murdered. In December of the same year, Japanese army mistakenly, as it defended itself, bombed the American gunboat Panay anchored in the Yangtze River outside Nanking, killing three Americans. The incident led to increased sympathies for China and anger towards Japan in the United States. In response to this aggression, the U.S. government extended its first loan to China. On July 26, 1939, the U.S. gave a formal notice for termination of the 1911 Treaty of Commerce and Navigation with Japan, which was officially abrogated later. On September 27, 1940, Japan joined the Axis powers formed in response to its ally with Germany and Italy through the signing of the Tripartite Pact in Berlin, and then managed to enter parts of French Indochina, modern Vietnam. Japan extended its control over the whole of French Indochina. In retaliation for Japanese action, President Franklin Roosevelt froze all Japanese assets in America and ended sales of oil to Japan, resulting in Japan losing three-fourths of its overseas trade and 88% of its imported oil. During months of negotiations between Tokyo and Washington, neither side would budge. Japan decided to continue its diplomatic talks with the United States, while at the same time secretly visualized a bold attack against U.S. Pacific Fleet under the leadership of Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto, the commander-in-chief of the Japanese Combined Fleet. The surprise attack was acted as a preventive action to cripple U.S. Pacific Fleet, a formidable obstacle to the Japanese conquest of Southeast Asia and give Japan time to consolidate its new empire. Why was Pearl Harbor important? Located near the center of the Pacific Ocean, approximately 2,000 miles from the U.S. mainland, Hawaii is said to be a perfect location to set up a naval base to refuel and supply. Pearl Harbor is also one of the largest and best natural harbors in the Pacific Ocean. In May 1940, Roosevelt moved the Pacific Fleet to the naval base of Pearl Harbor as a show of American power. In addition to nearly 100 naval vessels, including eight battleships, there were substantial military and air forces. As located approximately 4,000 miles from the Japan mainland, Pearl Harbor was not expected to be Japanese first target in Hawaii, and thus was left relatively undefended, making it an irresistibly easy target to the Japanese. The Attack On November 5, 1941, the top secret order number one was issued to the Japanese Combined Fleet, detailing the plan for the attack on Pearl Harbor. On November 26th, the Japanese attack force, including six aircraft carriers, two battleships, three cruisers, and 11 destroyers, sailed from the Hitukapu Bay in the Kuril Islands to a staging area some 230 miles off the Hawaiian island of Oahu. From there, 360 planes were landed in two ways. The first wave of the Japanese fleet with 189 aircraft heading towards Pearl Harbor came at 7.55 a.m. on December 7th. Heavy bombs and torpedoes were also dropped over the naval base, immediately causing heavy damage to the unsuspecting ships. 
The USS Arizona, along with several battleships, was bombed and exploded in the initial attack. At around 8.50 a.m., the second wave of the Japanese, including 171 aircraft, began. But this time, it had to deal with a much more coordinated defensive response. Nonetheless, the U.S. base was still subjected to savage damage. At 10 o'clock a.m., the Japanese planes headed back to carriers and ultimately back to Japan. The attack on Pearl Harbor was followed by Japanese airstrikes on U.S. bases in the Philippines, Guam, and Wake Island on December 8th. The Aftermath The attack killed 2,404 U.S. personnel, including 68 civilians, wounded more than 1,177 service members, and damaged and destroyed 19 U.S. naval ships, including 8 battleships. The Japanese losses included 29 aircraft, 5 midget submarines, and 129 attackers killed and 1 taken prisoner. No one could doubt that the Pearl Harbor attack caused devastating damage to the U.S. base. However, the assault had failed in its objectives to completely disable the U.S. Navy. No U.S. aircraft carriers were present at Pearl Harbor that day, and Japan was unable to destroy the U.S. vital infrastructure on the island. And instead of goading the United States into an agreement to lift the economic sanctions, the Japanese attack, or the date which will live in infamy, as U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt termed it, unified the American people in determination to enter the war for the first time during years of discussion and debate. In June 1942, the failure at Pearl Harbor came to haunt the Japanese, as the Battle of Midway marked the first major U.S. victory against Japan it was a turning point in the Pacific War. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos of history.